The gift wrappings of Hallmark. Hundreds of... How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. I hope your holiday season is going well so far. You'll notice that most of the videos, uh, there's a little bit of a Christmas themed music added to them. As you know, it has to be lo-fi because that's all I listen to basically. But I'm hoping that you are enjoying the festive sounding videos. And today I have something to show off that I think would work really well as a Christmas gift for car enthusiasts or uh, Miata enthusiasts specifically regarding this video. So let's dive down and I will show you what I got to install today. So one of the special things about the Miata is it is very much a driver's car. And I think having a driver's car, you need to be adding things that make driving uh, more accessible, a little bit easier to focus. And I think having a proper cell phone mount is right near the top of things that you could add to your interior. Now these two items here are from ProClip. This is the magnetic mount for their um, clips, I guess, for phones. This is what you will attach your phone to. And then they have specific lines of made for models. This one obviously is for a Miata and they're all made to fit with the nice OEM looking plastic to match your interior. Um, these are a little expensive, more expensive than your normal phone holder would be, but I think it's totally worth it. So for a while, I had the suction mount right here in the corner, but if you have your phone right here, it kind of takes away a little bit of vision when the Miata windshield is so small. It, it does take a bit of vision away, especially when you have a big phone. This is a Samsung Note 8. It's a pretty big phone for the most part. And when I'm doing data logging and stuff and monitoring through EQTEC, I don't have anywhere to put my phone except like right here and it doesn't really fit in there and it kind of just, you know, wobbles around. There's not a great place to put it, except with the Pro Clip, we'll be able to fit it right here and it's gonna be in a really good spot. Not that I'm looking at my phone often or anything, but I'll be able to monitor the engine parameters and things like that. It shouldn't take up too much space on the passenger side and I think it'll just look nice to have a spot to put your phone. It'll free up a little bit of space in the lower console here. So Pro Clip is going to be our solution for that. So my phone already has a magnetic mount on it for when I did the Renline phone mount in the Golf. So I've already tested it out with this and it hooks up just fine. What this does is it comes with a little frame as well as the magnetic attachment and then obviously the attachment right here. And then in our Pro Clip bag, As you'd expect, it's a really nice quality item. It's got the sticky tape on the back where we're gonna attach it into the dashboard. And it also comes with a set of instructions and a alcohol pad for cleaning. And you can swap out the trim pieces. They include a black one, which is pretty nice. And then they have the silver one, obviously. I think I'm gonna stick with the silver one since I do have some silver trim in the interior already. So all you gotta do is put a little screwdriver and crack it open. Easy as that. So now we're gonna take our two little parts here. All this does is basically glue on to right there. I just wanna make sure that my phone sits in the right spot. So I'm gonna put this in first and then we will go ahead and add our magnetic mount and then it should be good to go. So our main piece clips in right here here like that actually clips into the bottom of the dashboard which is nice and then it snaps into the main part of the car right here so I'm gonna take my alcohol wipe and just wipe down the surfaces where it is going to be sticking that way we don't have any dirt or debris or anything that will make it loose so now we'll go ahead and take off the tape covers Then we will go ahead and line it up where we want it. Snap it into the bottom like that. Make sure it's stuck down in there. We'll use another cleaning wipe here. Wipe down this surface. Just wanna make sure that there's no grease or anything on it. So right here, I've got the magnet on 
my phone and it clicks in just like that. So I want to make sure that there is room for the phone to actually sit and not fall around everywhere. Should be right about there. That looks good. Basically where I would want my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off the back of the magnet. I am gonna just go ahead and leave my phone on for right now. I think I can actually scoot it down a little bit, which would be good. Get the phone a little bit more off. And then I am going to take my phone, line it up. Looks pretty good right there. Press it into place. Should be able to pop my phone off there. And then we can just press down nice and hard on the mount itself. That's really all there is to it. So when I'm in the car and I need to put my phone down, clip it right in like that. And uh, we're looking good. I mean, that's, uh, can't ask for much more than that. It's, uh, it's a little crooked, but that's fine. I like it because the phone's actually out of the way now, which is good and it's really sturdy. You know, my car is pretty bouncy, so it shouldn't be wobbling all over the place. And the magnet is all on the back of the phone, so it's gonna be in there nice and securely. And that's pretty much it, simple as that. So I'm sure there's other solutions out there as far as doing your phone, but I like the way that this one came out. You can see right here that it's, you know, all there and you're not missing anything in the front of the car and you can look down and there's your phone right there. If you need it, you can reach over to it, check parameters, things like that. I can still control the phone with the radio and everything since I have Bluetooth, so that all looks nice. I can still open my glove compartment, which is really nice. I was a little worried that it might stick out too far, but it should be good. And phones really are, they're getting a little bit bigger, but this is one of the larger ones that you can get. So. I can reuse this with other phones whenever the time comes. And it's pretty easy, it just pops on and off, just like that. So, I like it, I'm really happy with it. The one gripe I have is I wish they could turn it a little bit more in and have it be a little bit more vertical. Um, Cause it, it is a little bit crooked, but really not anything I would complain about too much. So that is probably one of the more easier installs that uh, you'll do on your interior. You can see that this side right here from the passenger side, it's all good. You can still get in and I mean, have leg room still, not an issue. Um, I mean, if I'm stretching out, obviously I'll bump it, but otherwise it's really not too uh, intrusive in the passenger side of the cabin. So like I said, you can find this product, the phone mount, the magnetic mount, and the bracket that clips into, part that clips into your dashboard on ProClip's website. There is a link down below in the description just to check it out because I think it's a good solution for those looking to find a place to put your phone while driving. With that being said, thanks so much for watching guys. I know this was a short little video, but it was something that I wanted to show you and add to the car. I was super excited about it. So be sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, follow the channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. We're getting really close to 5,000 subscribers. So if we could hit that towards the end of December into the new year, that would start us off on a great foot. I'd be super excited. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.